Alright, hello everyone. So part 11 is going to be starting to install some of the stuff onto the case. So we're going to install the park lever and the shift selector and this piece holds it on, all that fun stuff. Put some aluminum pistons in here and yeah. We'll go from there. Alright, so first things first. I already cleaned all these off. Uh, make sure I'm doing this the right direction. Which I'm not, of course. I am going to take this piece. This is the part that slides through the case over here. It uh, holds the this in place and it holds the safety newt. Oh, I'm not even showing on the camera. So I got this piece and this piece. This is the piece that goes through the case and holds this on. And then uh, the other one, the, this piece is like the selector switch sort of for inside the valve body or inside the transmission and this safety neutral switch also goes to this so actually we'll dip it in a little transmission oil first same with this one i just cleaned these off in my parts washer so i just want to make sure that they uh don't rust while i'm doing all this which shouldn't but you never know all right So once that's on there, I'm gonna take the washer. Where'd the washer go? Washer accidentally left it in my parts washer, so I'll rinse it off. Or get the cleaner off with good old brake clean that and some fluid and then it is going on there just like that and then you're just gonna want to do it hand tight for now you can only fit in there one way the selector because it's keyed on the actual well it's keyed on both of them but it's like a little rectangle so you want that in there uh, hand tight and then you got this little guy, which is the little spacer that goes over on this side. It's gonna go right there. Gonna push it on. And then, there we go. I think it's a 5 8 wrench or a 14. Let me grab. See if five eighths works. It does. It's a little big, but it'll be all right. Just want to tighten it until it stops, and then when it gets there, I'll just use that to my advantage. Actually, I'll push this over. So it holds it. Okay. All right, I 
Let's uh, just want to do it not too tight, but enough to where it'll hold it on there. Okay, next is going to be this guy. It's the part that this sits in. this and we'll push that over so it'll go down there and then the two bolts for that right here one is here the other goes down right there these are 13 so get my handy dandy This guy to tighten them. Well, not tighten them, but you know what I mean. Get them down there, and then I'll get the wrench on them. Twenty-three foot pounds. So I will get my right. so again use my big old torque wrench. Set this to 23. in there. Next is going to be I'm going to put these guys in. So this is not the stock way to do it, but if you do this, you can block that off completely. It really firms up fourth gear quite a bit. And doesn't cause any problems. So, two pistons. Put a little bit of fluid on them to lube them. And also, so it's stacked up with the spacer in between just to the top. I'll put some fluid in here too. Got new seals on them. This is the original one that was in there, and this is the new one that I got. So I'm just gonna put it in like that. 
I'll do one at a time actually. Spacers in, and then the second one, and it should be right at the top.